Then we can consider what microorganisms are, are good for or are bad for. Microorganisms are crucial in nutrient cycling in ecosystems. You get rid of the microorganisms, you, you, you don't get have any decay anymore. If you don't have decay, then you lock up essential um, elements into um, the dead matter in ecosystems, and the ecosystem stops being able to function because basically the ecosystems need the recycling of elements within them, and uh, the microbes are crucial for that recycling. Uh, microbes cause diseases. We have, in fact, associated with our bodies a huge number of microorganisms, something like 10 times or more cells that are microorganisms associated with our bodies and our body's own cells. And these are called our microbiomes or our normal flora or our normal microbiota. And actually, these are crucial to keeping us healthy. They, they help to prime our immune systems, and they also um, play important roles in keeping disease-causing organisms from making us sick. Um, where did life come from? The original organism almost certainly was a microorganism. Uh, things started out small and simple and then got complicated. And in fact, as we go talking about the fungi and the plants and the animals, um, we'll be talking about um, uh, basically how things get more complicated. We have biotechnology. So anytime you're talking about gene cloning or when you're talking about uh, producing foods, fermenting them, microorganisms, this is all about microbiology. In fact, here are our fermented food products. Yogurt, we learned that sausages are a fermented product, or at least can be, cheeses. Solvents, so uh, organic solvents, uh, many are made uh, via um, the action of microorganisms. Uh, uh, most living things on Earth are microorganisms. And of course, most of the living things, therefore, in ecosystems are microorganisms and so on. So microorganisms turn out to be really important. It's just that you can't see them, so it's difficult to appreciate their importance.